Hello and welcome to me and my golf TV. We're your coaches Andy and Pierce and it's the Impact Show again. Another week goes by and we're here on the fairway on the 16th hole at the beautiful Asbury in Shropshire, England. Loads of great questions coming in again so please keep them coming. Post down below what you're struggling with and we'll pick a winner for next week. Now today's all about the fairway metal club. A club that many golfers actually struggle with Pierce and we've yep. got Max Little saying I can't hit my fairway with pure. Okay. Very simple. So <laughs> what we're going to do today is talk about really the struggles that golfers have but also we're going to do a little bit of testing again with you, Pierce. You'll seem to be the tester at the moment. Um, just to see what Trackman numbers are saying when we're hitting a fairway metal. Should we be hitting up? Should we be hitting down? Should we be hitting level? We're going to retake really a good look at what Pierce does with this to help you guys and talk about the common, common mistakes that you guys make. So, uh, Pierce, when it comes to hitting the fairways, where fairway woods pure, obviously we want to hit it pretty much at the centre. Yeah. But certainly a lot of people struggle because they just find it hard to actually find the face because of the angle of attack that yeah. they do, don't they? Yes, it is, yeah. So let's, let's hit a couple of shots. Yeah. And we're really just going to have a look. The main points here we're going to look at are the attack angle yeah. and the low point. So where is the club bottoming out okay. before, at the ball, or after? So two shots. Two shots for All us, right, yeah. here we go then. We'll take a look. Let's see what we get here. That was a nice one. Very nice shot. Good strong hang flight. time, strong flight. Okay, so uh, attack angle on that is 3.1, so you're hitting down 3.1. Your low point is 3.1 inches after the golf ball. Double 3.1 is the absolute formula. <laughs> so yeah, nice shot there. You can see Pierce was hitting down on that. No divot or anything, nope. though. You just, you're obviously hit that, hit that well, but no divot. Hit one more for me. Yeah, okay. Well, make Interesting sure that numbers sure that for a lot of loop. people watching this for the first time weren't sure what it was. That was a very good shot. What was the height on that one, Angie? Uh, so Andy. The height, Angie. Angie. The height was 62.1 feet. Okay, so that's pretty. That's pretty good for a, yeah, a, a strong three flight. Wood. That was definitely higher. That was even better. Yeah, nice shot that one. Okay, so that one uh, attack angle on that one was 1.7 down, and your low point was 1.8. Uh, inches after the golf ball. Maybe a formula, yeah, yeah. you're right. So 84 uh, feet high. Okay. So it just shows, I mean, we hear a lot of things with the fairwood, you need to maybe sweep the ball off the yep. off the grass. Now, base, bearing in mind what you just done there, yeah. your club is not sweeping. It is actually hitting down when you're striking the golf ball. Now, with amateurs, and we, we see this all the time, they struggle with striking the fairwood's pure pierce because their attack angle is, is often up. The club is up. bottoming out too much before the ball. Yeah. Just talk about some of the reasons that we see and we see this happen. I think what happens with, I mean, the club head speed on mine there, we need to bear in mind, that was 106 miles per hour, did I see there? Uh, 106 miles, yeah, it was 100, 106 miles per hour on the club head speed. So obviously quite, quite a strong hitter myself. Amateur golfers don't quite get as much speed as that. And obviously the speed helps you get the elevation. But the trouble people often have that we see is the concept of getting the golf ball in the air. Now, the first thing you must do is find out whether this is the right club for you. So you need to make sure, has it got enough loft? Is the golf ball getting up in the air when you do a good swing on it? Because some people have pretty decent swings, have the wrong club, have too little loft, and then change their technique in order to get the golf ball in the air. We want to be changing the golf club to get the, the ball in the air, not the technique. So we see a lot of people there, and I'm just going to show from the front on here, that a lot of people, when they're hitting the golf ball, they're trying to get the golf ball up in the air. So they're staying on the back foot, they are trying to lift the golf ball up in there. And you can see when I'm doing this, that my club is very much going to be bottoming out before the golf ball. My attack angle is going to be up on the, on the golf ball. And we can see that the weight of the pressure is on that back foot. That's fine if you're on a big tee peg, but don't forget when you're hitting that fairway metal, it's off the fairway, it's in a tight line. So we've got to get you moving towards the target. Okay, so that attack angle there, with, as we said, what happens is often we get that club bottoming out and then if it's bottoming out early, as it's hitting the golf ball, it's going up. So it's very hard to hit the middle of the face from that and you're yeah. just not going to get the maximum energies of the golf ball. You're going to hit the ground a lot before the golf ball, you're just not going to get good shots. So set of ball position is an yeah. impact, isn't it? We can talk about ball position as well. Yeah, you need okay, a ball? I need a ball, I need a ball. So, run run off camera here a second. So we need a ball for this then, Pierce. So yeah, ball always. position is key. Right, okay, so ball position with the driver. We'd want the golf ball anywhere around the inside of the left heel. Now with a fairway metal, move it back a little bit. So move it further back than the driver. Not as far back as the iron, but somewhere in between. And that's ideal for ball position. 50-50 on, on the weight distribution as I'm setting up, that's a good place to start. You know, you, you may feel as though you're ever so slightly in the back, but that's okay. But we want to be pretty much 50-50, but with that ball position there. Okay, the more, the more the ball goes back, the more you're generally going to hit a little bit more down on it. And there's yeah. a little bit of experimentation from there. So 
We did a drill for the guys at home that's going to in incorporate making sure that they can move their weight, get their arms sort of nicely brushing the ground through piss. I know we've got a good one here. We have indeed. We call this one Feel the Reach. So take your setup as normal. And what we're going to do is right hand, trail hand comes off the golf club. And let's put the left hand and the club pretty much in a position where we'd want to be through the golf ball. So you can see it's not in close here and bunched up. My lead arm is extended. Now, your objective now is to get your trail hand and put it in the correct position on the club. Now, I can't do that if I don't shift weight. If I'm on the back foot here, or if I'm not turning my body, staying behind the golf ball, I'm not going to reach it. So I have to move and turn my body in order to reach. Now, if I actually just freeze this position here, this feels great. It feels like I'm moving towards the target. I'm extending the club head through. And as you said, I've got a really good chance then of brushing the grass and getting that good contact. So from here, feel the reach, do this a few times, and then have that same feeling when you hit the shot. Okay, right, let's give it a shot then, Pierce. Feel the reach yeah. here. So you've already hit two fantastic shots. This Can this be even better? Let's see what we can get. That's, that, that, that second one was really nice, wasn't it? That was nice. Ooh, three good ones in a row there. Let's just get the numbers on that one, can we as well? Okay, so. A little bit lower, maybe. 3.7 on the way down still, 3.6 low points after the golf ball. Three great shots, but it just shows there. Maybe the image in your mind when you're playing the fairway metal is not necessarily trying to sweep it up. You know, let the loft do the work. If anything, a slightly downward hit's actually going to help you, isn't it? I think work at that drill and then go and get fitted. Definitely. Because yeah. if you're working that drill and the golf ball is still going too low, then it's obviously down to the golf club and you need to get a little bit more loft on it. Great, so great question there, Max. Hope that helps. Again, make sure you have a go at that drill and post how you get on down below and make sure you guys post your questions for next week and we'll pick a winner. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you soon. So thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to see more videos like this every single week and also follow us on our other social media channels, Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Yes, and if you want to improve your ball striking on your irons, make sure you check out our video series, Strike Your Irons Pure. Click the link right there. It's definitely going to help you improve those irons. Thanks again.